Hey guys, Big Vic here with my Wolverhampton Wanderers Manager Mode Dancing with Wolves Episode 2. As you can see, we are looking out for a right midfielder there. We are looking for Cameron, who is a Hull City right mid. We're also looking at uh, Bittencourt. He came up in the comments from you guys, so I'll have a little look, see if I can find me one of him. And um, we also desperately need, pointed out by a Wolverhampton Wanderers fan in the comments of the first video, Thanks for getting in touch, um, but pointed out we do look a little bit light in the right fullback position as well. So we're going to look at a few right backs, but I think we're, we don't want to spend all our money in League One when we are already a competent squad in League One. So I'm not going to blow all my money. I might look for the scouting network to step in and uh, I'm going to have a look at some right um, backs in the scouting network to see what my scouts have found me around the world. We we'll get into this game which is a game uh, of the last friendly of the, of the pre-season and it is against San Jose Earthquakes and uh, we come out one all drawers in this game. I'm still getting used to playing against computer and all that stuff but um, yeah dominated the game but could not quite um, sort it out, could not quite put the ball in the back of the net in that game. Um, we sell on Matt Doherty, uh, 21 and over six, overall rating of 60. Don't think he's going to quite cut it in this competitive Wolverhampton squad. Um, but we do manage to get the opportunity to sign Cameron Stewart. Um, I went and looked at Hull players and saw if there was any talent that was going to go missing now that they're in the, in the Premier League. You always tend to find with new clubs that you get championship standard players. Um, struggling to get a game in a newly promoted Premier League team. So there's often a few bargains to be had there. And uh, he can go straight into the squad for the first game of the season, guys, against Oldham Athletic. And um, we're going for this 4 1 2 1 2, the traditional version. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, just that is to unleash Jamie O'Hara into a more attacking role and that is exactly what happens here and I think this is my, that is my first sort of FIFA 14 style shot you know like the way it, it dipped and curved away from the the goalie even though it looked quite a straightforward save that's the first time that I sort of I've seen the ball physics in action for a goal like mine um Sacco popping up with the chip chips are really good guys if you see the keeper off the line Chips working a dream on 14. Um, I wouldn't say overpowered at all, but um, because quite often it is the correct way to score if in a one-on-one -on -one situation and stuff. If the keeper comes out at you, chipping it over him, that's what all the best players do. But um, chips are definitely, definitely an option again. They, they were very, very difficult previously, but I think they're definitely an option again. We absolutely cruise that game. Um, we're free up, free nil up in no time, and. Um, yeah, we never looked back really. It's a good job we did take our chances in the first half though because we could not hit a barn door in the second half. But we did continue to dominate that match. We get into the Carlin Cup, um, or whatever it's called now, Capital One Cup. The League Cup anyway. Um, and uh, we up against Leeds, a very tough draw. But O'Hara pops up again with another near post smash. And uh, yeah, loving his work at the moment. Um, gonna have to rotate him though. Gonna have to, you know, keep playing the rest of the squad um, and keep him fresh and stop him getting an injury because uh, he's looking very key to our setup at the moment. Taking another shot there, but not quite coming off. And uh, we did manage to hold on to a 1 0 win, sneaky 1 0 win against Leeds. Um, a really good result. And um, hopefully we can have a little bit of a cup run, but it is not our priority at all, guys. We really need to get back to the championship this season, or else it's going to get pretty boring pretty fast. Um, so these are all right backs that my Global Scouting Network has shown me. I'm just going to flick you through a, through a few. If you guys know any of them, or know that they're going to be good, or like what you see on the screen, um, shout out one of, the, one of these right backs. It'd be really interesting to know. Who you guys think I should pop up into that right back position? I'm trying not to get too far ahead with the episodes and stuff. That way you guys in the comments can constantly influence this series. So that's my plan anyway. I quite like the look of this right back at Chivas. Um, but we do need a, a new up and coming potential high right back. So 
let me know what you think of any of these coming through. Um, overall, guys, this scouting network, ah, I, I don't know if it's... I think it's a bit tedious. I think it's a bit tedious. And if you play for a top... If you're a manager of a top club on this game, you're going to know who the top players are anyway. So don't really get how it works. Um, I mean, there's nothing really to stop you also just pulling up like Foothead and just looking at players like that. So... I don't quite get it, but um, uh, yeah. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm not completely down on the global scouting network. Um, the jury's still out, but I'm very, very dubious about it. Um, it seems like too many flaws, a little bit too tedious, and who doesn't want to pick out their own players? You know, I know it's, it should be a scout's job, but managers love to pick out their own players. Um, but we get into this game against Leighton Orient, and in real life, Leighton Orient are flying in empower. League One, so this is potentially a banana skin for us. Um, but Sigurdsson scores a nice early goal, completely mugging the centre back. Um, in Ultimate Team as well, guys, you'll notice is it's a really effective way of scoring goals. Um, is to just put a lot of pressure on the back four and wait for the bad touch and nick it off them and get through on goal. Um, it was looking like a draw until the 89th minute. Sacco making a bizarre run straight down the middle of the pitch when he's meant to be out wide, uh, but taps it into the net for the victory. So a perfect record for the start of the new season, guys, so far. I've been FIFA Vic. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.